Glory to God. 2024, the year of the open door and turnaround. Amen. We're glad to see you this morning. From parts unknown to parts known. Amen. Praise God. It's just good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. You know, it's better to be alive than dead. Amen. But then again, glory is ahead of us. Woo! Better days ahead, I was taught. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, as God's people repent, pray, fast, and stand, we press in. Somebody say press in. I'll say that on Wednesday nights. I'll say, say it with me. I'm like, there's nobody here. Amen. But they're all online, praise God. And I can hear, and I can imagine, Robin, people going, press in or something, you know. Hallelujah. And, uh, and engage the evil in our region, our nation, and around the world. And I believe that we're already seeing a turnaround in this nation, around this world, and in our neighborhoods, and in our state, in our county. Amen. Praise God. I'm seeing it. I'm thankful. I want you to turn with me to Psalms 58. We're going to work in them Psalms today. Praise God. It's just good to be here. Amen. Woo. Larry sends his love. Appreciates everyone. Hallelujah. 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 Psalms 58 and verse 10 in the King of Jamus says, The righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. Amen. And then another translation says, the godly will celebrate in the triumph of good over evil. Amen. Good over evil. Somebody say good. good. Over, evil. over evil. Amen. And it says, and the lovers of God will trample the wicked uh, of the wicked, the wickedness of the wicked under their feet. Amen. Woo! Hallelujah. I'm a winner, and I thank God I'm going somewhere to win. What about you? Win, win, win. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even when I fail, I'm winning, because that means I'm going to get back up. Praise God. Hallelujah. If I get knocked down, I'm going to get back up. Got to keep going. Got to keep moving. Got to keep going forward. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, I want you to turn to... Psalms 36. It's not very far back. Psalms 36. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Psalms 36. It's a short book. We're going to be reading it. Welcome to the Powerhouse Hour, folks. Amen. We're so glad to have you here. Get a little closer so I can see. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Hey, Brenda, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, it says in Psalms 36, it says, The transgression of the wicked saith within my heart that there is no fear of God before his eyes. That's what they say. We don't have no fear or regard. Sound like the unjust judge, don't it? Amen. Then it says in verse 2, For he flattereth himself in his own eyes <laughs> until his iniquity be found to be hateful. The words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. He hath left off to be wise and to do good. He deviseth mischief upon his bed. He setteth himself in the way that is not good. He it hoardeth not evil. Then he says in verse 5, I love this, how it starts out. It says, 
Thy mercy, O Lord, is in the heavens, and thy faithfulness reacheth unto the clouds. Thy righteousness is like the great mountains. Thy judgments are great deep. O Lord, thou preservest man and beast. How excellent is thy loving kindness, O God. Therefore, the children of men put their trust under the shadow of thy wings. Look at that again. How excellent is thy loving kindness, O God. How excellent is thy loving kindness, O God. How excellent is your loving kindness, O God. Therefore, the children of men put their trust under the shadow of thy wing. And then I love this in verse 8 and 9. It says, they shall be abundantly satisfied with the fatness of thy house. Woo! And thou shalt make them drink of the river of thy pleasures. Amen. For with thee is the fountain of life. In thy light shall we see light. Amen. Oh, continue thy loving kindness unto them that know thee. And thy righteousness to the upright in heart. Let not the foot of pride come against me, and let not the hand of the wicked remove me. And then you ready? There are the workers of iniquity falling. There are the workers of iniquity fallen. They are cast down and shall not be able to rise. I love it. There. It's just like looking over to him. It's like, there are the wicked and they're fallen. Amen. And they can't get up. Amen. They ain't got no button. They ain't got, they're just falling. Amen. Hallelujah. Woo. (laughs) Woo. Amen. (laughs) Living on the mountain in the good old gospel way. Drinking from the fountain. Hallelujah. Amen. Brother McQuarter back in Georgia. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And it says here, it says, There are the workers of iniquity fallen. They are cast down and shall not be able to rise. Well, see, you know, there's a difference between the, unwe- the wicked and the righteous. The wicked fallen and are broken down and can't get up. But if we fall, the Bible says we shall rise. Amen. If I fall, I shall arise. If I fall, I shall arise. Hallelujah. Another translation amplified says, There those who are perverse and do evil have fallen. They have thrust, they are thrust down and cannot rise. Then another translation says, Look at those wicked people. They're knocked down. Never to get up again. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Woo. I thank God that God's taken record and he has a perfect record of keeping records. Amen. I said God's got a perfect way of doing records. He he, he sees all. He knows all. He records all, amen. And we don't have to be prideful about it. We just thank God that he takes care of it. It's up to him. He'll deal with it, amen. amen. Hallelujah, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If, if God be for us, who can be against us? Amen. amen. Hallelujah. We just thank God. We just do what we're called to do and do and work and live our lives and live with our family and thank God that by his stripes we are healed and all pain has to go in the mighty name of Jesus. Every bit of it has to go in the glorious mighty name of Jesus. We thank you and we give you glory. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every wit made whole, every wit, every wit, every wit. In the Mabasikele Mangrusidaba, 
In the glorious name of Jesus. In the glorious name of Jesus. That by your stripes we were and are healed. In the name of Jesus. Every wit made whole. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Hey Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. Woo. Woo! Glory! Amen. The Bible says in Isaiah 10, 27, Hallelujah! Oh, I love Brother Isaiah. Brother Isaiah does a lot of good things in here. Hallelujah. He, he talks about they that wait on the Lord. Mongo Rabbi and Mongo Woo! Hallelujah. Isaiah 10. Isaiah 10. Isaiah 10. Woo! In verse 27. Isaiah 10 and verse 27. And it shall come to pass in that day. I love that. And it shall come to pass. You know me long enough that you know I love that. It shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. It's not coming to stay. It comes to pass. Hallelujah. It's like a kidney stone. It passes. This too shall pass. Hallelujah. And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder. And his yoke, somebody say yoke. And his yoke from off thy neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointed. Yes. Yoke, something that connects you to another. Amen. Hallelujah. A union. An unholy union. Yes. Unrighteous union. Amen. Hallelujah. That breaks the yoke. Divides it asunder. Hallelujah. Amen. A yoke will limit freedom. But thank God whom the Son is set free is free indeed. Amen. Say, I'm free. I'm free. Hallelujah. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Love you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 6, 14, not to be yoked with unbelievers. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When I sat down to talk to people about getting married, I asked them, how do you believe? Do you believe? Do you believe? Are you a Christian? Are you a Christian? If one's not a Christian, the other one is, I can't marry you. Amen. What has light to do with darkness? Amen. Woo. Well, you don't know, preacher. I can change them. Well, if you ain't changed them yet, you ain't going to change them then. Amen. Are you still here in the house? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Oh, baby, I love you so much. Oh, 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 I love you so much. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, don't, don't fall for that. Amen. Just because them flattery words. and Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And then when the men are real charming. Amen. Be cautious. Be cautious. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, woo! Don't be yoked. The anointing not only destroys it, but removes it. Hallelujah. The anointing not only destroys it, it will remove it. And thank God that God does not give us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. So that anointing will not only break it, also remove it, it will also clear your conscience, amen, and give you peace instead of turmoil, amen. That same anointing will set you free from the law of sin and death, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo, that's good stuff, amen. amen. 
I said, that's good stuff, Dr. Shaw. Amen. Some of that good teaching from back in the day. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. See, the thought expressed is that the Holy Spirit is empowering our lives and turns us from a dull person into a powerhouse person. Amen. Full of the Holy Ghost, full of the glory, full of the anointing, full of happiness and joy. Amen. Woo! Praise God, I love it. Amen. Are you still in the house? Amen. Amen. To an invigorating, exciting experience. I thank God that every day of mine that I live is exciting. Amen. I didn't say it didn't have its challenges. But it's exciting. <clears throat> I know that living on earth is a challenge. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, I complained about having shortness of breath until I met a friend that's got half of a lung and struggling to breathe. Amen. All my struggle got over with fast. Amen. I complained about having a sore on my leg till I saw someone that didn't have one. Amen. Whoo. You get a different perspective when you get your eyes off your own self. When you get your eyes off your own problems and you begin to look around and see that there's somebody else in a lot worse. Amen. Amen. Situations. Amen. Hallelujah. A lot of times we complain or, or we talk about our problems to get sympathy. And, and I've been there. Amen. I've done it. You know, just to get a little, you know, pity. And I'm like, we ain't got time for pity. Amen. Let's deal with that devil and let's move on. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. That this is the day the Lord has made. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. Might as well. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you going to talk about your mountain or say unto yonder mountain? Talk about your mountain or say unto yonder mountain. Jesus said, when you say unto yonder mountain, be thou removed and, and you don't, and you believe in your heart. Amen. And you don't doubt in your heart, but you believe those things which you saith. Hallelujah. If you ain't got anything, daddy used to tell me, daughter Shaw, if you ain't got anything good to say, keep your mouth shut. Amen. Amen. I, I mean, I learned a lot of good things from my dad. He, the daddy, daddy's 105 years old today. Amen. He's been in heaven since 1995. Amen. But 105 if he was still here on earth. Amen. Whoo. I miss him more every day. But I now at 64 years old, I'm beginning to have an impact in my life of the wisdom that he had that I didn't see. As a young man. Amen. Are you still here? Amen. Hey, hey, he just waiting on me. Amen. He waiting on me. He looking down going, hey, hey, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Come on, boy. You can do it. Now, prayer can change from a lifeless formality to an energized petition. As you build that relationship with God, I'm still working on mine, Dr. Shaw. I'm still working on my relationship with God. Amen. I'm still working on my relationship with him. Even though I've been living in the kingdom, even though I've been preaching 40 plus years, I'm still working on that communication and that lifestyle. Somebody say lifestyle. lifestyle. Amen. Amen. You know, people say, well, are you on the keto diet, the low-carb diet, the Weight Watchers diet, the Jenny whatever diet? Are you on the uh, go-low or high-low or whatever diet? What are you on? A, a lifestyle. Amen? Lifestyle. Lifestyle! Yes. You, no matter what you do, you got to have a lifestyle. Amen? Hallelujah. They used to have a show, I think it was back in the 70s, uh, uh, The Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous, you know. And the, <laughs> it was some crazy stuff out there, man. Amen. Oh, mercy. Whoo. I watched a few shows here a few years ago and just talking about 
Uh, I can't remember how, the name of it, the title of it. Uh, uh, after winning the lottery. And uh, talked about how they were hunted down. Even had a couple of them that were uh, held hostage trying to get money. Um, they went out and spent a bunch of money and then ended up having to, uh, they got in trouble for this and got in trouble for that. Uh, had family to seek them out that they didn't even know they had. And, uh, you know, it, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Hallelujah. You know, somebody dies in the family. All of a sudden, you've got family you ain't ever seen before coming up looking for something. Amen. Hallelujah. <clears throat> I remember back when mom and daddy died, I was like, oh, Lord, who are you? Daddy promised me that. I said, that's okay. It's my daddy, not yours. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Traveling on. Glory to God. Right, Dr. Shaw? You just travel on. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some people feel that they're entitled. Somebody say entitled. Entitled to what you work so hard for. Entitled to their opinion about how they feel about you. But you know what? Sometimes we feel like we're entitled to tell them how we feel about them. Amen. Amen. I like to give them the blessed assurance every occasion, Abraham. Amen. I love you. I'm praying for you. Hallelujah. The Bible said to pray for those that despitefully use you. Yeah. Like, I, I, well, Lord, of course, that scripture says clobber the one that's messing with me. Amen. Hallelujah. And I, I'm, I'm looking for that one. I said, Lord, God, just, just. <clears throat> Hallelujah. I, I, that, back when I first first got into the kingdom and first started out in ministry I, I had somebody pressing me and pressing me and pressing me I told the Lord I said, mm. I said what are you looking for I said, I'm looking for a temporary reprieve looking for a temporary pr- reprieve I, what are you going to do with that I said I'm fixing to fix this Amen. he said you going to fix it I said yes sir I believe that you're taking way too long because I, I, I believe in sudden justice. I said, remember that one. I'm like, okay. And I know anytime God tells you something, you better write that down because that's going to come back up later. Amen? Because when you're, you're out there flipping around doing something, you'll say, remember that sudden justice thing you were talking about? Oh, Jesus, forgive me. Amen. Hello. Hallelujah. Forgive me. Forgive me, Lord. Hallelujah. Forgive me. Acts chapter 4. Acts chapter 4. Oh, praise God. Acts chapter 4. I thank God for the Holy Ghost. I thank God for the Word of God. He's just so good. You you can't outdo Him. He, He is so good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know that uh, Peter and John and all the others were gathered and and, uh, the people were, and the Sadducees and all the priests were, the Bible says in verse 2, being grieved that they taught the people. And preached through Jesus the resurrection from the dead. And they laid hands on him, them, and put them in hold until the next day, for it was now eventide. Amen. How be it? How be it? Many of them which heard the word believed. And the number of the men was about 5,000. Amen. How be it? However... Amen. However, those that heard it believed it. And there was about 5,000 men. But they put them in jail for a short period of time. And I like what it says over in verse 20. Go on down a little bit. For, they're, they're, they're laying out their, what they believe and how they're coming against all the demonic power there in, in this chapter. Hallelujah. <clears throat> in verse 13, go ahead. 
now, now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, <laughs> just because somebody says you're unlearned and ignorant don't mean you are. Amen. Right. Are you still here? Boy, that's Come on, somebody. I mean, even Tim over here. Amen. Praise the Lord. Look at this. Ignorant men. They marveled. Listen, they marveled. They marveled. Why did they marvel? And they took knowledge of them. Well, I thought they were ignorant and unlearned. But they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Being with Jesus, even though people think you're ignorant and unlearned, people will take knowledge from you. Why? Because you're getting something that you ain't got and you know you ain't got. And there ain't no way you knew it except for what God knew. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. And then he goes on. Now, see, it's talking about the man that was at the gate. Amen? And, G and, and Peter and John said, look on us. Amen. Silver and gold have we none, but such as we have in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. That's what this is all talking about from uh, chapter 3 and 2 and all this. And he says in verse 19, hallelujah, well actually 18, oh it's all good. And they called them and commanded them not to speak at all, nor teach in the name of Jesus. Now listen to this. They said, you can't do this anymore in the name of Jesus. 19 says, but Peter and John. <laughs> but, somebody say but. But, but Peter and John. Hey, hey you, Peter and John answered and said unto them, whether it's right in the sight of God to hearken unto you more than to God judge you. For we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. Amen. You judge whether it's right or wrong, but we're going to do what God said do. And then it says in verse 20, 21, So when they had further threatened them, they let them go, finding nothing how they might punish them because of the people. For all men glorified God for that which was done. Amen. And the man was above 40 years old of whom this miracle of healing was shown. Amen. <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah. Amen. Whoo. Are you still here? Yep. Amen. All right, let me read on down here. And being let go in verse 23, they went to their own company and reported all that the chief priest and elders had sent unto them. And when they heard that, they lifted up their voice to God with one accord and said, Lord, thou art God. They didn't whine and complain and cry. They just lifted up their voice to God. Lord, you've heard all this, which hath been, have made, you made heaven and earth and the sea and all that's therein, who by the mouth of thy servant David has said, why did the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth <laughs> stood up. And the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against his Christ. For of a truth against thy holy child Jesus, whom thou hast anointed both, uh, both Herod and Pontius Pilate with the Gentiles and the people of Israel were gathered together for to do whatsoever thy hand and thy counsel determined before to be done. And now, Lord, I love this. And Lord, now, Lord, behold their threatenings. And grant unto thy servants that with all boldness, that, we, that boldness they may speak thy word. 
by stretching forth thy hand to heal and that signs and wonders may be done, hallelujah, by the name of the holy child Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and they spake the word of God with boldness. Hallelujah. Amen. Woo. That's what you call praying through. Amen. Hallelujah. You pray through. You pray through the threatenings. You pray through the problem. You go through. You keep moving forward forward in spite of what's going on. And then God moves himself into the situation. Amen. Are you with me? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The place was shaken. Hallelujah. With that same anointing upon us, Working in us and through us, we can face the future with confidence. Amen. There's a lot of things going on, as you know. Amen. It's funny how you change the channel and you hear one talking about this, you hear one talking about that. But, you know, we hadn't been able to trust the news for years anyway. It's all been lies and and populated and then planned. And uh, it's just the way it is. That's why you got to have a relationship with the Lord mm -hmm. to know the truth. Yes. And the truth will make you free. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. You know, you got... Two justice systems, maybe three. <laughs> one they're winking at, the other one they're trying to persecute. Amen? That's okay. Mama used to tell me years ago, every dog has its day. It rains on the just and the unjust. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But the righteous shall be glad. Amen. When you, you, you can't go wrong standing for right. Amen. You can't go wrong standing up for the widows and orphans. You can't go wrong for standing up for the people of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. With his anointing in us and through us and on us, we can expect our circumstances to change. I've seen it. I'm watching it. I'm watching it. How a little bit goes a long way. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isaiah 58, 6 says, Is not this the fast that I have chosen? A fast that will break every yoke. That will break every yoke. That will break every yoke. Yes. Amen. Well, what about some what about some of them yokes that won't break? Well, the, the Bible says there every one can be. Amen. Can be. Uh -huh. Well, might as well let it be. Amen. Let it be. The anointing of the Holy Spirit on our lives not only will break the yoke that is intended to keep us in bondage, but will also enable us. To reach others and see them set free. Hallelujah. I've even seen where that in your process of getting through what you're going through, God used you as a megaphone or a funnel and sets people free and you're still battling. Don't allow the enemy's lies to keep you Entrapped. Yes. Amen. Keep doing what you're called to do. Amen. Keep doing what's right. <clears throat> and trust God. Because God will work it out. 
I like what it says in Psalms 92.10. says that, that we will be anointed with fresh oil. Somebody say fresh oil. Fresh oil. Woo! Yes. Fresh oil. Amen. There's nothing like going to a restaurant and you can tell they hadn't changed their oil in a while. I'm like, y'all got to do something for me. What's this? Something's nasty. Amen. That's, that's just the old Georgia term. I mean, something's nasty. Amen. When's the last time you changed your oil? And then you get that look in your face. And you're like, uh. Their face. And they're going, I don't know. I thought, well, if you don't know, it'd be a good time to go do that. Amen. And, you know, we had to keep records back in the 70s. Amen. We had to keep records. We changed it out. We made sure. It, grease trap had to be cleaned. Amen. And they would come and pick it up. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Fresh oil. Fresh oil from heaven. Pours in us. On us. And every time we pray, God re-oils us. Hallelujah. I've got fresh oil. Fresh oil. So, when Jesus came on the scene, he declared... A turnaround. He came to turn around and to change everything that Adam had messed up. Amen. Whom the Son is set free is free indeed. It tells us in Isaiah 61 verse 1. The Spirit of the Lord. See, Jesus came, walked into the temple. Opened up the scriptures and began to read. Amen. He said, and the spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Oh, that's a good news right there. That's good news. We've got good news for the brokenhearted. How many know there's a lot of brokenhearted out there? Amen. I had a captive audience this last week. Amen. In a senior home, Doc. Senior home. Senior home. And I I was right at the end of it. Just at the end. Just at the end. I said, I just appreciate y'all having me come over here today and and spending a little bit of time with you talking about bingo and playing a little bingo, giving away. You know, I I gave $100 away that day. Amen. And just a blessing. To be a blessing. To be a blessing. I said, to be a blessing. And so I had a captive audience. And I said, I appreciate all of you being here today. And then I took the next 10, 15 minutes just to exhort them, amen, and talk about a few things. I didn't, read, I didn't, I didn't even mention a scripture one. I didn't. I let the scripture do its own work. Hallelujah. I let the anointing do what it needed to do. Amen. You can read it and talk about it or you can let it flow through you. And so we did, and we, we had a good time. I guess we had about 20, amen, that's the biggest crowd I've had in a while. I was happy, amen. Um, they, they would be happy I didn't go no more than 15 minutes, amen. Glory! Spirit of the Lord, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, the opening of prison to those who are bound To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all who mourn. Isn't this powerful? To console those who mourn in Zion. To give them beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. That they may be called trees of righteousness the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. Hallelujah. Amen. Woo. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Anointed. Anointed. The death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. Turned around everything lost by Adam. Amen. Oh, praise God. The year of the turnaround. I've already seen in the last few months, turnaround. Told you it was coming. Open door. I've seen doors open that I couldn't open myself. Amen. Amen. Seen doors open. 
I mean, some, Greg, just sit there and hold the door for you. Hey, hey, where you been? Waiting on you to open the door. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Gospel. Glad tidings. Good news. See, our job is to tell the good news. I have good news to bring, and that is why I sing all the joys. Woo! I'm going to take a trip in the good old gospel ship. I'm going far beyond the sky. Amen. (laughs) Until the heavens ring while I'm bidding this world goodbye. Amen. Woo. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody else understand what I mean? Amen. Amen. Psalms 126, very short, says, When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. (laughs) Oh, and our tongue was singing. Then said they among the heathen, The Lord hath done great things for them. The Lord hath done great things for us. Whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity. Listen to this. O Lord, as the streams in the south. Amen. Turn again our captivity as the streams in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goeth forth with weeping, bearing precious seed shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. Amen. Woo! Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We've shared good news with you this morning. We've shared good news with you this morning. God is so good. Hallelujah. Father God, in the glorious name of Jesus. I thank you. Lord, for Glenn, he's every wit made whole. Every pain leaves. Every lie of the devil is over. Whom the Son is set free is free indeed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Come against every fear. Come against every lie. Every false echo. And I give you praise. Lord, I pray for those that are in Facebook land. Father, from the top of their head to the soles of their feet, from Alabama to Alaska to Canada to, uh, to Pakistan, around this country and around the world. I thank you, Lord, for miracles and signs and wonders. I thank you, Father, for setting people free in the glorious, matchless name of Jesus. I give you praise, Lord, for who you are. For whose we are. And we thank you, sir, for the great things that you're doing in this country. I thank you, Father, for what you're doing. And I thank you, Lord, that you're going to reveal the ugliness, the lies, the facade in the glorious name of Jesus. I thank you, sir. You're an ever-present help in the time of need. And I thank you, Lord, that we share your goodness in the land of the living. We give you praise and we give you glory in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Jesus.
<clears throat> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. We love you and we appreciate every one of you. Amen. Be blessed this week. We thank God for every one of these folks here. We thank you. Hey, Susan. Amen. Love you too. See you Wednesday.